So guys, here we have it, uh, Drizzle Ditcher's base, or oh, Steve Evans is his, his name on Facebook. You've probably seen some of his bases before, he's done some good bases in the past. This is like a factory type base, what he's made. He's made some cool little robots in it as well, what I've seen on picture, so looking forward to seeing them. I did actually make a video on this base and <laughs> it didn't save. So I'm well, pretty gutted about that. Uh, uh, they, these are kind of little robots what he's made. Really cool, they like most of the carrying stuff as well, which makes it look really, really good. Uh, terrain's stuck in these. Uh, it's not moved, so I'm just going to jump down to the next level so I can get in. Uh, We'll have a good look around his base for you. I really wanted to visit this base when I seen that it made these little robots to look really good. I love seeing like uh, new ideas, what people do, especially when they're unique and if it's the first time they've been done. Oh, I like so he's got like three different types of robots here. Basically that's just like a storage box in it with one of them robot arms on bottom and these are like them filing cabinets on a slant with robot arms on. <laughs> really cool idea mate. Uh, what's in here? It's a trade terminal. Have a look around here. Yeah, it's a shame this terrain's stuck in it but there's no can do about it. Oh, this has got this little uh, balcony bit what he's made. Really cool idea that off the side. It. I think I've never thought of making a round balcony like that with chairs on and that. But it's, it's simple little things like that really fascinate me in this game when people make them. Yeah, let's go down to the next level. If I can find a way. Upstairs. I'll, I'll just jump off here. I know you're not meant to go this way, but I end up a little robot there. That's cool. See, they're, they're all different. They're all like different colours and got different numbers or decals on. It takes a bit of everything to load in on this base. Hey, what's down here? Oh, this is the best room that I've seen. It's got like a conveyor belt with robot specking stuff, and then uh, this one here, it's like a uh, processor where they come out, they like come out as that, move on to the next bit, get one arm put on, move on, get two arms put on, and then get spray paint at the end. <laughs> it's really good how he's made that, I think. And they come out of, out of that machine. I love that. I like how he's made all these robots different, like someone's got vents on back and and stuff. Might have to use these in one of my base, bases, mate, if you don't mind. <laughs> really cool. Let everything pop in. Quite a big base, this base. Yeah, I've been up there, haven't I? We'll go down to the bottom deck. See what's down there. I like how he's made this post under here. That's a good idea. I like that. <laughs> I like that though, but it looks like it's got eyes with that. I think that's one of my favourite ones. Look, look how they're carrying stuff and all. There's some upstairs I'll show you in a minute. Uh, 
they, they like carry little plants and they look very cool. Really, really good job on this one, mate. I need to start decorating my builds. Well, what my builds like. I just like go for the outside visuals, and I should really get more effort to do insides as well. And this is a landing pad down here, like docking bay. Uh, I'll go up and show you these. Uh, these ones carrying plants now because they, they look very, very cool. I forgot where the, where one is. I know there's one outside somewhere. Oh, I've never seen this bit before. Nice little area. Uh, where is it now? I like these plants. I wish I had these on my creative save and put more effort into events because I've got them all on my normal. Well, nearly, nearly all of them, but. Hey, where is it uh, coming to plan? Ah, here we've got one long. <laughs> oh, this looks so cool. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Hey, I, th I think that's about it for this one then, guys. If you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I, I do a lot been putting lots and lots more content out lately I've been doing like at least a video a day uh, so please check them videos out if you haven't already I'll leave a link in the description to Steve Evans's YouTube uh, channel if he's got one I'll confirm that with him see if he's got one or not and thanks guys I'll check you out on the next episode bye